and welcome to today's tutorial brought to you by To The Tick and today's subject is the V bottom. Now a V bottom is a potentially very powerful reversal pattern and it can be seen in all markets, all time frames, and really any instrument including your stocks. It's unusual and it's very distinctive pattern structure for this particular uh, price pattern and one of the reasons is it reverses we're looking for that control of trend and watching that control of trend and that duel between buyers and sellers from the very first opportunity with that we might see it and change a reverse until it actually confirms and everybody can see it. So we want to go through this structure in pieces but we also want to do it in a very speedy bar by bar sequence because that's really how this pattern unfolds in live time. So let's get started here. First and foremost in order to have a reverse we must have a trend in the background. Our trending in situation in the background of a V bottom is a bearish trending market. We come into an activity where someone is willing to start taking some profits. How much of that is simply profit taking? How much of it is still uh, trying to control an area and that is what we still don't know and when we start this pattern early. Now a the reversal pattern in itself is going to offer you an outline. We're always trying to look for where where is our true support, where is our true resistance and it's the trader's job to be updating our definition of that. Again, in the, inside this pattern, you may have a very tight price range exhibited right here between your definition of support. It's that dashed blue line in the bottom and your definition of resistance, the dashed orange line in the top. Where is it exactly? And as the pattern continues to unfold, it's our job to decide whether the range offered in this pattern between that support and resistance structure is something that's tradable for us. Do we have time to make a decision? Now this pattern as true in all reverses but in particular this one the drama associated with this pattern is very important to note. You are looking for where there is a clear message in volume. The volume here very clearly stops and takes a pause. What, if that, what does that mean? It changes that steep angle of descent. One of the characteristics of a V bottom reversal pattern is the sharp angle of decline from that trend, very strong trending action, and the strength and shape of that really strong trending action offers more opportunities within this pattern. But it does say wait. Wait until you can see the people that are selling completely get out of what they're holding and you're looking for where the buyers take control. Well, again, it's our job to decide whether that range, that definition of where they are supporting and where they are coming into resistance, how do we establish that level? Personally, I always kind of look at this as a box. I want to get that support line and get that resistance line and keep massaging it through the pattern, if you will, but I've already got a very clear outline of what I consider my risk levels. If this pattern does what it's supposed to do in the current picture, we should be looking for the prices to squeeze out of the shape that it's in. You notice that the resistance line, if I was to draw a channel and connect the dots on those highs, it would be pushing, 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 and yet I've got a nice straight line in the sand on the bottom. Something has to give and that squeeze. The odds at this moment in time are still with the trend. Now one of the big nuances here is are you looking at a larger time frame chart for where you might find some genuine support or is this line in the sand right here just stuck out in the middle of nowhere? When it's stuck out in the middle of nowhere you virtually have no way of calling a bottom. A bottom reversal needs confirmation and this pattern as in all reversals none of them actually confirm as a reversal until you actually clear the resistance line and you hold that resistance and change it into support before you go the other way. So there's quite a bit of time before we get to that point 
within the pattern that we can see right now. We are working on the first part of the pattern, and that is, hey, somebody, somebody stopped the decline in prices, and there were enough of them to say, we're taking some profits, and now I can see it. I can watch what I call the muddy trench. I want to look for the battleground between buyers and sellers, and where is that price Point. And yes, it may come all the way down to a single tick in your particular chart, but somewhere in there you've got a battleground of prices, which is the most worked area. That, for me, becomes the muddy trench. And just like in a tug of war, the people that are right on top of those red dots there representing the trench, the people right inside there are going to get dirty. The idea on any reverse is try to find the edges. You can be very aggressive in trying to find, in this case, the lowest low price, but again, calling a bottom is risky. Do you have any help from a larger chart? Okay. Do you have a pivot? Do you have something major here? Is this associated with the news piece? And you're waiting for the news to actually get broken and then see the response. But the point is, a reversal pattern is about you and choosing when you decide what is truly getting supported, what is truly resistance, and when does something change directionally means we have to have more buyers more buyers to pull us up out of this hole than we have sellers. And the key is watching the dramatic exchange between those two holders of the contract. It's an auction. That's what we trade. So our swing high, current swing high, has pushed us into a really tight, rather short, squatty bar. Again, at this moment in time, the trend is still in control. Do you have any kind of good reason to think that it's going to stop here? If not, you're looking as always always, we're looking for what comes next. The slowing, that decline, is the most important part to notice first. Then, what do we see in the trench? And now we're looking for that, ooh, look at that thrust bar. We got a nice push. If you notice, that bar was dark, and then it went dark, so we got a nice thrust. And then they push hard. So do you see the volume pushing hard here, and the sellers getting rid of everything they have? So the key is not just the sellers getting rid of what they have, but we must have some buyers. We can't change direction on price without buyers. So do you see the buyers coming in and nibbling? And if so, how quickly? Now, there are traders that specifically look for that thrusting spike bar, looking for a single spike bar that's with a lot of drama and a lot of volume on that single bar. And the bar itself may offer enough room for you to have some nice profits. Again, my recommendation is, do you want to see that spike bar roller coaster type of an experience, adrenaline rush, or can you wait until you get some more confirmation on the pattern that it truly is a turn? Each trader is different about that. It's dramatic, and that is the part of the pattern that you're trying to trade. The pattern is also extremely symmetrical. We're looking for that straight line price action that created the first part of our pattern on the left to now make this spike. And if it is going to be a V bottom, again, we've got no confirmation. It could be a head and shoulders. It could be a brand new low. We could be starting a whole new breakdown. At this point, you don't know anything about that. But the V bottom, if you're going to take a chance, it's because you can see an advantage in your risk and reward. The lowest low spike bar price, any entry inside that bar or back up to that support line that's already created there on the left side, that range of price is left to you to decide whether it's worth the risk. The the stop placement for any entry inside that aggressive area will be directly underneath this lowest low price. So what we're looking for is this symmetry in that V bottom. Is that exactly what we're looking at? So we're going to watch and advance the program now and show us that they did manage to get the bulls came in and bought charging back up through our muddy trench. Notice who controlled the muddy trench on the advance, and oh my goodness, look at that. Our first definition of resistance, first definition of resistance, is for them to get through that dotted orange line.
Now, if the pattern's not big enough for you here, then you're really not considering any action yet at all. And by the pattern being big enough, I mean, what's the spread in price? Have you been able to find a price entry here where you would feel comfortable with what they're doing so far? Is this genuinely a breakout? Well, prove it. For to be a true confirmation, again, of a reversal pattern, we have to see the breakout, and now we have to see them confirm it. Well, they break out, and then the bears pull us back down. And again, if they manage to hold that same line in the sand, that would be considered a resistance line turning into support, and you are then looking for it to see whether it can advance from here, offering you a yet another opportunity for an entry, and then the breakout actually confirms and we run the other way. Again, notice the symmetry of the pattern. To be a V bottom, it is extremely, extremely symmetrical in order to qualify as a definition of a V bottom. You also have drama in price in that spot, meaning prices could be fairly far apart from where your support line is to that lowest low in price. It's what they do on the turn and how aggressively they hold each advance. Once they push to this level, you could say, well, that's really my resistance. I can see this in the background. And that's what you're going to do in this pattern, as in all other reverses. If they manage to hold the line, you're going to start targeting the pattern all the way back up as far as your target's going higher again. Does the pattern in general, regardless of whether you're the highest risk taker, thrill seeker, down here with that roller coaster taking something on the spike bar, or you wait all the way until you actually confirm the breakout, if it's truly a big reverse, there's still going to be plenty of options to get in, and that is one of the nicest things about this pattern. Visually, the elephants cannot hide. You are looking for that change of interest in the instrument between buyers and sellers, and they cannot hide that interest. The bigger the spread in prices often between that spike bar and your resistance line quite often represents your biggest advantage for looking for your prior profits going for further. So in a V bottom is a summation, we're looking for that trending action before we can have any kind of reversal. And in the case of a V bottom, we've been trending bearishly with our prices. We look for that first push into a new low where buyers are willing to step in and give us a pause. That's the definition of intermediate or even short-term support is where is somebody willing to step in and take some profits. Are they just buying to cover? How strong is that profit taking? Establish that muddy trench as soon as you can trying to visualize that definition of support and resistance and give them a little bit of room, okay? That swing high and low spread sets up your reverse targets, whether you look at it as a box or you look at it using your diagonals, channels, you are looking your target to be something uh, with that high and low spread, and anywhere in there, you're, if we get a big pattern, you're going to have a lot more out of it. Your stop limit is just under each of these entry options. The most aggressive pattern, and I'm going to give you four, is an ugly right shoulder and or something inside that thrusting spike bar if there's enough room for you to justify an entry. High risk, option one, ugly right shoulder and or the spike bar. Option number two is my method, and that is waiting for that muddy trench and looking for the bulls to firmly show you control. When do the bulls firmly take control? You will see it with the volume. I cannot stress it enough that bullish volume confirms your interest in this pattern. Then the classic way to take any reverse is to actually take it with a breakout price, my least favorite way to do it. And number four, conservative, which I love, but it doesn't happen all the time, and that's to wait for the retest on an actual breakout price area and then look to take the trade as it's confirmed to be a reversal. There is still plenty of room if it turns into a big trend. Keep that in mind. Keep your risk and reward levers very, very clear with this pattern. The drama has a tendency to 
uh, get you excited and sometimes you don't react the way you should. So please, if you're going to trade this pattern, please have your rules outlined for your risk and reward in advance. Again, I have these on the website for you, video, text description also, which gives you a few more nuances there, and chart examples. So come and visit to the TIG, and we'll see you again soon. Thank you and goodbye.